Hello, that's Michael Feely here, just doing uh, another quick video. I'm actually at the, the National War Memorial uh, in Staffordshire, and it's not a place I would normally think to go or a place I would, that I would normally go, but I was invited here and I've come along, and as usual, there's lots and lots of things to talk about. So, really, I don't, I'm not doing this video to degrade the things that our heroes have done. Some of these people who have died for us have actually seen things that the rest of us, you and I, could only ever have nightmares about. So I'm certainly not degrading what they've done. I'm certainly not trying to tarnish their memory. What I'm talking about is really why there is a memory. And there's a memory because somewhere, someone somewhere with a political agenda has sent them into fight. Now, I've not been here before. I don't know what's here. But the one thing I can guarantee is not here are the people who sent them to war. The Bush, the Blairs, all of those people that send our children to die, send their children to, to Yale and to Eton to become the future selected Prime Ministers and selected Presidents. They will not be here because of course they're always in safety when they send our loved ones to die. So what I'm going to do today, I'm just going to go into the main memorial itself and I'm just going to just point out just a few bits uh, that are in there. Now on the way here, I've walked past pyramids, pentagrams, the Star of David, many many small obelisks, and lots and lots of other symbols that literally again I could spend the day recording and going into. But what I'm going to do now is going to take you into the main area which you can see there, you can see a big gigantic obelisk inside an oval arena. Now of course the obelisk at one level is the phallus of Osiris, which obviously is the Egyptian god of the underworld, which has relevance because this is a place of memorial. The oval is the Yoni, but looking at that deeper, you have the oval, which is the Holy Grail, which is the container of knowledge. And you have the obelisk, the pineal gland which is Osiris, open eye, but it also relates to the penis of the mind. So again we have a lot of consciousness. Now when I've looked at all of these ancient sites, whether it be Stonehenge, whether it be the pyramids, whether it be religions, their origin, their foundation, although it's hidden, is all about the self, all about the transmutation of the self, and it's all about enlightenment. So we're just going to go now and just have a look what we can see. Uh, as I say, this obelisk is probably about 60, 70 feet tall, but we'll just go and take a better look at that. Here behind me you can see lots and lots of names of unfortunate ones that have passed away. When you look at the word war, it's really slavery. It is really service. But the whole of humanity are slaves. Every aspect of our life is monitors. We're told what we can do, what we can't do. And it only takes just a slight adjustment of consciousness and all this will change. So people don't need to die of the futile battles and wars that are caused by people in suits who we never see. Here behind me we can see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's lots and lots of reefs on the floor. Well, a reef <clears throat> really means to cast a spell, to tie into a spell. So it's all to do with black magic. Now, <clears throat> when we see the likes of the Queen at the Cenotaph, the Cenotaph really is all to do with Assyrian mysteries, Osiris. That is why we wear black at funerals, because that is the, the colour of Osiris, the god of the underworld. <clears throat> behind me and I'll take it a bit closer into, into a moment is the obelisk and of course as I say the oval the womb between the two there's always a, a connection between sexual ritual and death between eroticism and death because we enter this world through the act of sex and we leave this world through death so the sexual act and death is part of the same continual line Well, it says on there, they died serving their country. 
well, actually they didn't. They died to serve a political agenda. So, self-sacrifice is really the elimination of the lower self. So, I sacrifice myself to my higher self. It is all a ritual. It is a ritual that the powers that be understand. As I said previously, if you look into the distance there, you can see, I think you can see on the camera, there's a pentagram and a pyramid. You know, so why is there so much Egyptian symbology at a memorial site for war? Well, because Egypt was all about the afterlife and the sacrifice of, of the lower self to the higher self to basically resurrect and rebirth themselves. So when we see the obelisk and the oval, it is the beginning, it is a new birth. But as I said, people don't need to die. <clears throat> people don't need to sacrifice themselves for leaders that are hundreds and thousands of miles away from the activity. As I say, I came here today not to tarnish anyone's memory. But what, I, what I'm saying is there's a memory because people made the decision to send them to die. And it only takes, as I say, that, that slight adjustment of consciousness for us to stop this futility of killing each other. It really is that simple. So when leaders are telling us to go and fight, we say no. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you can see further videos, and also take a look at my website, michael-feely.com. Thank you again, and take care.